Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will discuss the turning operation performed on a cylindrical job on a lathe machine by considering four different factors speed, feed, depth of cut, and cutting conditions. In the cutting conditions, we have taken coolant and without coolant. So, the title of this video is Investigation the effect of coolant on the material removal rate for a turning operation. Few images have been taken while we are performing the lab. So this was the first image, the second one image and the third one. So initially to perform the experiment, we need some kind of design. So in order to make the design, we have used the Minitab software, go to STAT, then go to DOE, design of experiments, then Taguchi, create a Taguchi design. Here I have two level design. It means that each of the parameter has two levels while we have four different factors or parameter in our study, then click on design. We have selected L8, two raised to power four. It means that Taguchi L8 orthogonal array have, has been selected with four factors. Each of the factor has two levels. Then click OK. After that, click on factors. Here we have to enter the name of the factor. So first of them is cutting speed. The second one is feed rate the third one is depth of cut and the fourth one is cutting conditions then look at this column one two four seven i suggest you to make it one two three and four so you will get the design as we have made the next step is entering the level values so i have taken 400 and 800 for the cutting speed 0.05 and 0.1 as feed rate depth of cut is 0.25 and 0.35 the cutting conditions are so cutting conditions dry and coolant click ok then go to options click ok and then ok so we got a l8 orthogonal array design now in the fifth column, I will write MRR, material removal rate. So we have to use a formula for the calculation of material removal rate. Let's go towards that. So formula is weight before performing the machining operation minus weight after performing the machining operation. Rho is the density of the aluminum. It is 0.0027. Tm is the machining, machining time. This formula has been taken from this research paper. You can check there for citation reference and the time has been noted by using a stopwatch so and, and the weight is measured by using a weigh machine so you can check here way before the operation now i will copy all these material removal rates from this excel sheet and i'll paste it in the mini tab for the statistical analysis now again go to stat then doe then taguchi uh, analyze taguchi design select the response variable by clicking double click on it go to the graph select signal to noise ratio and means click ok then analysis so we need response table for signal to noise ratio and means again click ok go to the options uh, we want to maximize the material removal rate so our signal to noise ratio criteria will be larger is the better this is most important thing please remember click ok and then click OK. So here we got the result of Taguchi analysis response table for signal to noise ratio. In this table, we have to check first of all the rank. So feed rate has the highest rank. How we find the rank? The rank is the difference of the mean value at the low level of the feed rate that is 9.833 and the high level. So we got a difference of 7.132. This is the highest difference. So it is ranked as one. Then cutting speed is ranked as two, depth of cut three, and cutting condition four. So we found that feed rate is the most influential parameter on the material removal rate, followed by cutting speed, depth of cut, and cutting conditions. You will get the similar ranking for the response table of means. However, there is a slight difference. There is a difference between these values because the above values are signal to noise ratio, and these are the response values we have collected now main effect plot for the means it's showing this with the increase in the cutting speed from 400 to 800 there is an 
in decrease in the material removal rate. However, with the increase in feed rate and depth of cut, the material removal rate increases. We got our maximum material removal rate under the dry conditions. Further, these main effect plot for means and signal to nice ratio plot, they are resemble in case of larger is the better criteria. In order to analyze which of the parameters are significant or insignificant on the material removal rate, we have to perform ANOVA. So go to STAT, ANOVA, General Linear Model, Fit General Linear Model, select your response variable material removal rate and select all four factors there. Then click on the graphs. In the graph 4 in 1, do it in the start of your lab because these graphs will tell you whether your data is following the normal distribution and all the assumption of the ANOVA or not. Then click OK. So you got the result, click on this window to view only results. So we can see that these are the four factors we have taken into study along with their levels. The ANOVA analysis, analysis of variance is telling us that the speed, feed and depth of cut, they are found to be significant. Why? Their p-value is less than 0.05. You can check the f value by using, by using the f tabulated value that are available in the book or in the internet. Further from this sum of scale value, we can see the highest sum of scale value is for the feed rate. So it is found to be most significant followed by cutting speed and depth of cut. Whereas the cutting addition has a very minute sum of scale, so it is found to be insignificant. Further, the model summary explains that or four factors explain 98.43 percentage variation in the material removal rate. However, this only significant factors explain 96.33 percent variation in the material removal rate. Now, these graphs are the most important. You can see from the first two graph, th from the first and third graph that the data is following on somehow normal distribution. This fourth graph is telling us that there is no specific trend in the, so the data independency has been satisfied. Now, versus fit, residual versus fitted value, you can see the number of points that are above this zero or dashed line are equal to number of points that are below it. So the variation in the data is found to be statistically equal. So that was all about this report. Now the most important thing, which of the settings for these four parameter will maximize over material removal rate. So you can see cutting speed level one has the highest signal to noise ratio then. So it means that cutting speed to level one, feed rate level two, depth of cut level two, and cutting conditions dry. These four conditions is the mono optimization or single objective optimization results. So these are the four conditions that are very important to us in case we have to perform the turning operation on an aluminium under, the, under these four parameters. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Bye.